Hey guys, I'm Zachary Gray, and that right there is a little banana spider. Also called a golden silk spider, this is one of many species around the world that's referred to as a banana spider. Now here in South Louisiana, this time of year, they're going to be getting massive. That one's not even half grown. So we're going to be going around here, starting to rain a little bit, but we're going to try to find the biggest one of these we possibly can. My home state has got some crazy spiders, from savanna-dwelling tarantulas to big barn-loving argeos. Late summer, the spiders that we're going to be looking for today in this area will be reaching maximum size and can be found pretty easily around these floodplains. Now, banana spiders are not hard to spot. They're a very common species, but I want to find a big one today. Now, to spot these spiders, all you got to do, go where they live, late summer, and look up in the trees. Just look between big trees, big sticks. In fact, I'm walking under a web, right? Like, look, this is how quickly we found one. There's one right there. But you're not very big. Ooh, no, you're not coming with me. But this habitat, great for golden silk spiders. They're gonna be out here eating cicadas, small bugs, pretty much anything that they can wrap up. And uh, these spiders are pretty impressive predators. Now here we can see something kind of interesting. These golden silk spiders will oftentimes build their webs over water, specifically flowing water, anything where a lot of food is moving through. And they're gonna be really congregated around these spots. Got one, two, three, and then there's another one right there. So four in this little tiny spot. That one right there is big. That's a massive one. And these are all gonna be females. Only the females actually get this big. Now I can't get to the biggest one, so let me grab a smaller one here. Here we go. Now you can see pretty clearly why these guys are called banana spiders quite commonly. Their abdomen looks like a big banana where they're typically very calm. Although I don't want to blow on them, I don't want to breathe on them a bunch, anything else that would scare her into causing some problems. Now they rebuild their webs pretty much every single week, I'd say. They're constantly eating the web and redistributing it. Look at all this web she's putting out. Sick amounts of web. These spiders put out a lot of web, so much so that we can actually make things out of the threads. It'd definitely be unpleasant to take a bite from one of these spiders, but as you're seeing here, even when they're pulled out of their web, they don't really intend to bite. Really creepy animal, really cool spider. We're gonna go ahead and put this one back and try and find a bigger one, but that is a good example of a pile of golden silk spiders hanging out over a large water source, hoping to get some food. Really cool spider. All right, see you little fella. And you'll find your way back onto your web there. These spiders are named both for their appearance as well as their incredible webs, which can span across pretty big rivers and floodplains catching anything too weak to break free before being wrapped and eaten. It's insane how strong these webs are. Like, the anchor webs, it's probably one or two pound test webs. These webs actually put up with a lot of weather, a lot of abuse this time of year, even hurricanes. But even if they do get destroyed, the spiders rebuild them really quickly. Golden silk spiders are incredible web builders. They're able to survive pretty much any conditions we get down here in Louisiana in these webs. Well, here we go. There's a little stack of big ones right here, and I've already picked out the two biggest. There's a massive one there and a massive one here. This is about as big as you're gonna see them on average. There could be some monsters bigger than this, but these ones are pretty big. These are adults. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this one off the web. I'm gonna try not to mess up its web, and I'm gonna spook it this way with my snake hook. What I'll have to do is I'll have to get him. There we go. Have a look at that spider. This would be an adult female. Looking at her up close, they do actually get a good bit bigger than this. Not as big as I thought initially. But that's still a respectably sized banana spider. I actually want to get this other one over here too and see if it's bigger. You, you get on the hook. You can go down. Oh, here we go. All right, that one's a bump smaller, actually. Well, here we go. We've got two nice-sized banana or golden silk spiders. I'm gonna have to. What I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna like switch. Yeah. Yeah, big brain. But to do that successfully, I have to actually get them switch. 
Now as you can see, these are a very docile species. I just have to keep them separated to keep them like that because spiders, when it comes to prey, are a very aggressive species. They will, in fact, ferociously eat anything, and I mean anything, smaller than them. In fact, golden silk spiders have been known to eat small birds and even small rodents on occasions. So if you're a small animal, these are the last things you want to run into, especially when you're flying around out here over the water where they build all their webs. Like I said before, their webs are probably like one and two pound test. So anything that can't put out enough pressure to break that where it's really light is going to get eaten. These spiders are ferocious predators when something lands in their web. And look at how much web they're putting out. They put out a sick amount of web. It's very pretty. It's actually golden. That's why they're called a golden silk spider. And I can actually have them both on the same hand like that as long as I keep them on opposite sides. Now, much like many other spider species, the females are larger, and they will typically, if they can, catch him. They will catch and eat the male after mating, and they will catch and eat other spiders that are in their webs as well. But they oftentimes will live in close proximity to each other, and they know to stay out of each other's webs. They don't try to go and mess with each other in each other's webs, because if they get wrapped in their opponent's web, then they're a goner, no matter how big they are. You stay over there, and you stay there. They're putting webs out like crazy. Now, when it comes to the bite of this spider, it's actually nothing too serious. They're not typically a dangerous spider. However, there have been people that have been sent to the hospital and had severe medical issues with spider bites from these guys when they have an allergic reaction. But that's very rare. Like, that's an abnormality at best. They're big, predatory spiders. There's just something about it in human nature that finds these animals creepy, and there's nothing you can do about it. Now, you'll oftentimes refer to many different species referred to as banana spiders. And I've gotten people that say, oh, that's not a true banana spider. This is why we have scientific names. There are many spiders throughout the world that are called banana spiders, and we even have two species here in the United States that are referred to as banana spiders. We have the black and gold argue that's referred to as a banana spider, and then we have these, the golden silk spider. Golden silk is the more commonly accepted common name. There's a reason that we have scientific names. Now, of course, the banana spider that everybody's always thinking of is actually the Brazilian wandering spider or other wandering spider species. And there's no relation, actually, between these two species. Oh, get out of there, you. Goodness, they put so much web out, it's very difficult to, oop, don't bite. They just tried to bite me. Let's not do that. Sometimes they'll get a little wild hair and just go, ah and you gotta keep them from doing that. That's just how spiders are sometimes when they get a little bit nervous, because they're nervous right now. I know it's kind of hard to tell. They just look like little wandering, massive arachnids in my hands, but the right one especially, the smaller one, is a bit more nervous, and I'd have to assume that's not because of me, but more because of the other slightly larger spider in her proximity. She's probably getting nervous about it. Well, this is the peak time of year to see some of the biggest spiders in South Louisiana. These are golden silk spiders, an incredible species for sure. Not one to be scared of for sure, but definitely one to be creeped out by. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to go and check out the time we caught a giant Argyope spider here in Louisiana. A really cool video there. And we will see you guys next time. All right, time to put these two back in the web. Put you on the top web here. And here you go, you creepy banana. That is awesome. There's spiders on your hands. Get them off, get them off, get them off. Get the spider off your hand. Get the spider off your hand.